Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Let's Play with friends. I am joined again by my good friend Joe. Hello. So we're taking two a in a row. Yeah, <laughs> two in a row. We're taking a second look at Sunrun Kagura Peach Beats Flash just because the game is out in English uh, this week. So I thought it might be fun. Go ahead, come back and check out some of uh, the older stuff. Yeah. So if you are joining us now and you are just curious what we did a couple months ago, I'll put a link in the description. Um, go ahead, check that out if you need to. But honestly, like, um, those videos are pretty much like the very, very beginning of this channel, so you might notice a jump in quality. So please don't judge me for those. I haven't changed. So I've been the same quality this whole time. Top quality. Top quality. A star. Did, did we make that joke last time? I can't remember. We oh, wait. Because <laughs> we did do another take. Did I just say the same thing twice? Whatever, man. <laughs> That's how good the quality is so unchanged that, uh, yeah. I even, yeah. Same quality jokes each time. <laughs> so yeah, if you are into these kind of games, then definitely I would say this is a fun game to check out. Uh, we were talking about fan service a lot, a lot, a lot in the last episode, but you know I think this game does it well. And if you like, if you if you're into that kind of stuff, then this game is great. Actually, it's pretty fun. Yeah. So yeah. Also, lovely, lovely koi, lovely, lovely water effects. These are, yeah, they put a lot of effort in, into those, so. So, um, do you have any experience with uh, these types of Japanese games, like this sub-genre of Japanese games? By sub-genre, what, what do you mean? Like shoot 'em ups or like the fan service games? Uh, I would say these these kind of cute style games, like of any genres, really. Uh, I don't think I have, actually. Really? Yeah, like I'm trying to think. Like, just cute games in general? Yeah, I guess. Um, nothing even. Would you, would you consider like Space Channel? Is it Space Channel Five or Space Channel Nine? I can never remember. It's um five, and that game's really old. And I love that game though. I'm so bad at it though. You're not still playing it, are you? No, my PS2 clunked out a while ago. I don't know, or like, not this style of game. That's for sure. I can't think of any cute games that I played actually in the last ten years. My mind's gone all blank. But I know, like, recently, yeah, you've been playing World of Final Fantasy. Oh, it's... You, you would consider that part of, I mean, guess... Yeah, I guess so. It's a different style of cute, though. Yeah, that's, like, actual cute, like... It's like, chibi stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's... And I guess with that, actually, the, the, the art style to that is very close to... Um, Kingdom Hearts, if you like Yeah, that. it is. Actually, when I first saw the trailer, I was like, is that King? No, no. That's what I thought, actually. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's not like a super involved game, to be honest. Like, I haven't gotten too far into it. I'm already like 10 hours in, I think. But like, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it, you know what it is? It's like so much other stuff nowadays. It's like, it's nostalgia more than mm -hmm. anything, you know? I feel so. Yeah, I understand what, what you mean. Did you ever play it? World of the Fun Fantasy? Yeah, World of Fun I do not. I know uh, my girlfriend bought it um, pretty recently and I watched her play it for a couple hours. Yeah. Uh, but no, I have not played it personally. It's just Pokemon with Final Fantasy characters. And I'm honestly, to be honest, like I played so many of those games where it's just like Pokemon with XYZ franchise. I'm kind of getting bored of them. Like I don't care about them anymore. Because. <laughs> I just don't like the chore of having to catch everything. Like it feels like so much pressure to, and there's so, always so many things that you need to collect. I just get bored of it after a while. Speaking of Pokemon, yeah. Did you see my Instagram picture? Yeah, you did. You liked it. Which one? Uh, Pokemon Silver. It's been a while. Of on Instagram, I was like, it's all on Friday, man. Really? Yeah. See, that's what. Instagram is doing to my brain. <laughs> Richard, you liked it. Anyways, they re-released Pokemon Gold and Silver for 3DS, just like Virtual Console releases. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I'm with you now. <laughs> yeah. So if if I had to like, um, if you have never seen me play, you didn't come over at all, and I told you about this game. I said it's like about schoolgirl ninjas in bikinis having water fights, and it's a lot of fun. I'd be like, yeah, that sounds like you. Would you believe me at all, or would you be like, oh, Tim, you're just so fucking weird? Like, no, I totally believe you. Like, I know you play games like this, so it would not. I it, I wouldn't even bat an eye. I'd be like, that sounds exactly like something you play. Yeah. Are no. they all schoolgirls? They are. Yeah, they're in Ninja Academy. Oh yeah, you said so. 
fruits are not legal unless you type their age in a notepad and backspace <laughs> and then just increase it by by one or two. Then, yeah. zero at the end. <laughs> Put a zero at the end. <laughs> so instead of like 12, they're like 120. 20, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah. They're all really cute, I have to say. I mean, I think that's by um, that's by design. Yeah, I guess so. Except for um, one of the characters is Asuka's grandmother. I think she's playable actually. Mm -hmm. You don't know who Asuka is. Yeah, you. She's the main. Yeah. One of the main girls. Um, her grandma's in one of the other games. In a bikini. No. Oh. Actually, wait. I think she's DS DLC for this game, and I, I think she might be in a bikini. <gasps> can we check? That there out? is a bunch of there's a crazy DLC for, for this game. Uh, you can play as um some dead or alive characters because there's like a crossover. Oh no way! Wait, I think you told me that before. I don't think I did. No. Okay, maybe not. Uh, yeah. So. Huh. Interesting. So I, this game is pretty self-aware of yeah. how silly it is. I always wondered that about um, Dead or Alive though. Is that self like? Is that? Oh, Dead or Alive is something insane because it's like, like I really don't understand Dead or Alive. Because I know Dead or Alive, I feel like it's it is self aware, but they're not like haha, it's funny. It's like yeah, it's sexy. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like they do it so straight faced. They're like, like this is sexy, and we intended for this to be only sexy. Yeah, this is kind of like oh haha, is there you know their bikini fell off? You know, wink. Sure enough, pew, pew, pew. Where it's, you know, dead or alive, it's like, yeah, you can almost see her nipples. <laughs> yeah. And I know I you're guess, enjoying that. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. That's That That was always my feeling from it. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely um, intentional. Like, I've never, I'm not in the industry, so I don't get the chance to talk to these game creators, but if I ever did get a chance, I'd be like, you know, walk me through the process of dead or alive. Yeah, like... How did this come about? <laughs> yeah. When original was a like fighting game and they had like a uh, Easter egg where you could turn on uh, like boob physics. Yeah, yeah. I actually re I remember that from my childhood and I was like, what is this game? Yeah, and then that was just like, it just spiraled into whatever, you know, Dead or Alive is now, which is the fighting that's... game and the beach thing. I guess that was like the popular thing about it though, that you could turn on boob physics, right? I mean, you know, you know sex That's what made it Sex sells and sex makes, I guess, serious in that case. So they just but. ran with it. The thing about Dead or Alive, though, if you haven't ever played Dead or Alive, the main fighting game is that they're, they're fun, actually. Yeah, I haven't played it since I was a kid. And, like, I've kind of kept up with it with the... The volleyball? No, wait. The extreme no, beach the, volleyball? Um, no, the dating sim one where they're on the beach. That's extreme beach volleyball. Yeah, I thought it was, yeah. It's not a way, it's kind of dating sim, but you're like courting them with bikinis and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's weird as well, because they all seem equally as un uninterested in you. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I don't know, even the story for that is a bit weird as well. So... Yeah, I don't know. I knew, I don't want to talk about fan service again. We spent a lot of no, we did that talking about before. But, <laughs> Wait, um, what just exploded? We'll find out. Yeah, what is this? You should translate. Translate this. Oh no, please don't make me translate on the spot. It's like, oh, it's been a while, you guys. Oh my god. Like, why are you here? She's here for the strong. Okay, this is one. I have a question. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like, this is super nerdy way of speaking in Japanese. Like, the. The, like, old fighting words kind of way of speaking. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Mm -hmm. If this was. In English. Yeah. You'd be like, that is a huge nerd. Why does that not come across in Japanese as much? I think it's just because it's really self-aware. Like, when you Maybe. when you play a game, you kind of expect a certain set, I think, of, of vocabulary. And I guess they're, like, playing to who's their base. Yeah, it's really, like, mm. it's stupid, but it's, like, everyone knows, you know, what it is, and... It's just like, oh yeah, that's what the game should be. Okay. 
Have you ever watched a Japanese? Sorry, have you ever watched a Western drama dubbed in Japanese? Yeah, it's really weird. And you're like, why are those actors speaking that way? Like, like the tone is different, the nuance is different, and it's like, you know, it's not even that. Like the whole voice is different a lot of the time. Like, um, I remember watching Downton Abbey. I don't watch it in English either. I have no idea what I was watching, to be honest. But they. I remember because on Japanese, a lot of Japanese TV shows, you can um, flip between English and Japanese. Right. So I flipped from the English to the Japanese, and this super matronly, like deep voiced woman was talking like this, like with a really cutesy little voice. <laughs> and it was just oh, like. Oh, yeah, in Japanese, right? Ah, uh, and it yeah. happens so, like across the board in Japan, like Japanese dubbed things, like anything like that. Like um, in a lot of like action movies here. Mm hmm. Like, oh yeah like Ma the cool voice. girls will get dubbed with like really high girly voices and they'll and say, say like what yeah and they'll, they'll say what right oh it Desu really wa. annoys me yeah uh no and i feel like um even like male characters they put on that weird like orizo, like oh yeah low, like really yeah. low voice as well yeah. like everything is very heightened which makes it sound like it's weird because it makes like it sound like anime basically well it, it's supposed to be taken a little bit seriously but when we hear these voices it's like you know suddenly these characters are characters of what they were before and it's, it's like people don't speak like that in real life exactly like japanese people don't speak like that so when we watch a movie you know dubbed in japanese it's like suddenly it's not real life anymore yeah i i think that just might be like a cultural perspective kind of thing like when you watch a movie you want to get Im immersed in it so much that like because you don't, it you don't feels want that it's called suspension of belief. Yeah, right? you don't want yeah. to, you don't want to be like brought out of it and constantly thinking this is a movie and this is the way people in movies talk. Yeah, but in Japan, I think they want that difference between real life and like drama or whatever. Right, because like when we talk to our friends in Japanese, and then I watch like a you know anything a drama, and I'm like, people don't talk like that. Like that's why I cannot stand dramas in Japan. Like, cause. Right. I always feel like they're super overacted, but mm -hmm. I think that's probably just because of the way they speak mostly. Well, I don't know. It's not just that, but it does really get to you, I think. Well, it gets to me at least. Yeah, I mean, just for fun, like, you know, we have a, at home here, we have a subscription to Japanese Hulu. Oh, yeah. And um, uh, Silicon Valley is on there. Oh yeah, which is a show that I really, really like. I I watch it obviously in English, as just being a native English speaker. Yeah. Uh, but both versions are on Hulu. You can watch it dubbed or subbed. And just for the hell of it, I went to. Have you seen Silicon Valley? Uh, a few episodes. Did you watch the last episode of the first season where they talk about jacking <laughs> I could off? Not tell you. Okay, in the last episode of the first season, they talk about how long it would take to jack off, like to give a hand job to an entire auditorium of people. Uh, no, right? and, not seen that, and the so. most efficient way to jerk off an entire auditorium and that scene is just like it's really funny because they're taking it so seriously there's like formulas on the board <laughs> and everything so it was like what is that scene like in Japanese right yeah the humor of that scene is just sucked dry oh like comedies in Japanese do not translate at all like friends or any kind of sitcom I think is the least funny thing like I just remember acutely noticing it with friends mm -hmm. like how any kind of any humor is sapped out of it it's completely dry and straight faced yeah and it's like suddenly it's not a tongue-in-cheek funny thing about the they um talking about penises and how to jack it off it's just like i don't know so is a weird disconnect with it you know what i mean it it sounds it feels very serious doesn't it yeah and like not tongue-in-cheek serious but like actually serious yeah Anyways, I actually think that's a good place uh, to stop. Definitely. The last thing we say yeah. is we talk about it is penises, but um, <laughs> Part of the course. whatever. So I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a quick look at these two levels as we talked over them um, <laughs> about penises and, and Japanese, we didn't and Japanese ruin, movies and stuff. We were in the experience for you. <laughs> so if you enjoy this content, you can always check out the channel. I do, I do cover Japanese games, um, both old and new. So I just try to upload a couple times a week. Uh, so you might find something that you enjoy and maybe you have a friend that might enjoy it as well so go ahead and share it with them and if you have an idea for a game that you might think would be fun to play let me know leave a comment on this video or message me on twitter but as always thank you very much for watching i'll see you again thanks bye